it's Ted Lasso. Why are you watching this? Just go watch the episode. You're going to want to watch it anyways. You don't need a review. That's it. Hey, everyone. This is David Stark from Watcher Pass. And I know I'm a little late to the game here, but I just started binging Ted Lasso and now I'm caught up and I'm going to review Ted Lasso season two episode seven headspace which is coming to Apple TV plus on September 3rd 2021 I've got my most AFC Richmond jersey on I got the Richmond colors in the background I'm ready to go I'm ready to talk about this episode so the episode is as I said so coming September 3rd 2021 it's 36 minutes long the episode title is headspace so as you can imagine this kind of gets into some of the uh psyches and motivations and you know the heads of of some of the characters in the film specifically the coaches the, this film focuses on the the four main coaches and each of them kind of addressing something different uh so you know before i get started i'm going to talk about a little bit about the episode three things i liked about it three things i didn't love about it uh you know as you can imagine there will be some spoilers i'll try not to spoil everything but there will be some spoilers about the the series so just keep that in mind if you haven't watched it go watch it and then come back and uh, listen to this so in Headspace, you have AFC Richmond on a good series of form. I think they, they're, they're on a four-game win streak. They're kind of coming together. And as you can imagine, with all that uh, positive momentum, something's got to go wrong because it's Ted Lasso and there has to be some drama. And so uh, the different coaches each kind of have something happen to them that uh, messes with either you know what you know about them or messes with their kind of like day-to-day. -day. And it lets you... It lets you get into a very different space with a lot of these characters that we've grown to love. And some I liked, you know, I liked the difference. Some I didn't love, but I'll go into that right now. Uh, so the first thing I loved about this episode is, you know, it introduces some additional drama. And specifically, this was this was more geared towards Ted. Because in this episode, Ted really starts, I think, you know, you don't fully understand what he's confronting. And you know, I assume it'll be revealed later. But it feels like he's starting to confront kind of the ramifications of his divorce. He's finally uh, starting to kind of try to break it down what happened and, and start to kind of deal with that. And he, this, this kind of manifests in like a panic attack that he has early on in the film. And then uh, the rest of the series, the rest of the episode is him trying to uh, get the courage or get the motivation to go to counseling. Um, and so that, that was fun. You also get a, a little bit more drama in uh in roy and keely's relationship and that 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 was funny but also lets roy's character kind of grow a little bit more as well uh, and then you get a little bit of drama in um in beard and also in nate's uh characters and and though you know i didn't beard beard i think less so because he already has a little bit of uh dr dramatic issues with his relationship but nate's nate was new nate was a uh, an interesting exploration i didn't love it you know I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit later but uh nate also has a, a dramatic change the second thing i love is that you know kind of going along with the drama you get to see some different facets of the characters and and you know that's with the coaches you get to see some of their more vulnerable sides i especially liked ted you know approaching therapy in the, in the way that ted lasso does you know he's positive but also you know, maybe a little skeptical doesn't want to change the way he does things um, so that was that was fun to see. You get to see kind of a little bit more serious Ted Lasso um, in this episode, but you also get to see, you know, I, I think Jamie's character is really starting to come around. I liked seeing he's becoming more of a team player and kind of trying to balance, you know, when to be the star versus when to be a member of the team and trying to actually start to listen to people, which was fun. And then you also get to see uh, some other facets of Nate's character, which I didn't love, but you know, it, it is something that's new and, and will kind of, I imagine, fuel towards the finale in, in a month. Uh, and the last thing I really love is you get some revelations that we've been waiting for, specifically uh, the biggest revelation. You get to find out who Rebecca's mystery banter bow is. And I'm not going to tell you who it is because I want you to find out for yourself. But uh, needless to say, you do get some revelations in this film. You also, or you do get some revelations in this episode. So things I didn't love, you know, there were some character changes, specifically Nate's character, that I didn't love. He, you know, in this episode, he gets, and again, spoilers here for some of the things that happen. He gets a little bit cocky. He, he, you know, finally shows his coaching acumen. He finally is able to kind of step up when he needs to. And then that causes him to kind of get an inflated ego. And look, I get it. Like he spends most of his time checking Twitter, seeing the references to himself. And 
everyone does that. I do that with my site. Like every time I get a new comment on YouTube, I'm very excited and I'll like go read it and you know maybe respond to it. So I understand that. But his character gets very uh, egotistical and, and, and straight downright mean in some instances. And I didn't love that because that's just not how his character is. Uh, it seemed like a very abrupt change. It seemed like, you know, something that they're trying to build in now to have some later confrontation, some sort of later explosion, you know, so they're trying to lay the groundwork now, but it did feel like a very abrupt change. Uh, and, you know, when you expected Nate to kind of pull back and realize what was happening, he then, you know, went back to it. So that I didn't love that about him. The, the second thing I didn't love is you know, this film, because it deals with more of a, like, you know, the headspace, the mental aspects, there wasn't as much soccer, which, you know, I, I understand, but there was this initial scene at the start where there was this very, very big, important part of the game and the film cut away. And I think they did it for dramatic effect, but I didn't love that. Like I want, like I go to Ted Lasso to see the characters, but I also to see the soccer. I want to see the this team play and, and see the moments of, of glory and also the moments of pain. And by cutting away, you didn't get to experience this moment in the in the game. And, and I, I didn't love that because it didn't really feel like it was replaced with something very dramatic that you got to experience outside of it. It was just, you didn't get to see it and you saw some other characters doing some things behind the scene. Um, and the last thing I didn't love as much is uh, there was less coaching by Ted in this, in this part. And I guess that's partly because now he's trusting his coaches. His coaches are uh, running the practices and, and, and controlling how the practice goes and even how the game goes. But, you know, I like Ted's Midwest optimism. I like his kind of witty sayings and, and how he approaches things. And, you know, in this, episode because it has other things you don't get to see as much of the ted lasso that we know and that does open up other facets of his character that i did like seeing but i wanted to see a little bit more coaching from him but you know i guess that's what happens when you kind of let others uh grow into their coaching roles as well so that's ted lasso season two episode seven headspace it's coming uh today because the embargo is up today so it's coming september 3rd 2021 so you can check it out now on apple tv plus if you're a ted lasso fan you're going to watch it anyway, so you don't really even need this review. But if you haven't started the series, it's a fantastic series. I, I just started it last week. I've binged through all of last season and all of this season, uh, and I can't wait to see where it goes. So that's thanks so much for watching. If you liked this review, please like and subscribe to this channel. It helps me out a lot and make sure all my new content goes straight to you. Thank you.